Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am super excited to announce that I have met my 250 subscriber milestone. And I do wanna thank everyone who has been supporting my channel because without you, I would not have done this. Um, I feel very blessed that I've come across this community and I truly enjoy um, putting out this content for you guys. Um, so in this video, I am going to be going over the details of my giveaway. Um, I'm going to go over a few things that are new in my Etsy shop, and I'm also going to go over some ideas of some saving challenges that you could create with things that you already have in your house. All right, to get things started, just a few things quick that are new in my Etsy shop. Um, I do have this A6 size set, um, and it's kind of a horse theme. Um, I have this white dog um, A6 savings challenge set. Um, and this one also comes in the $5 denomination, um, a lower budget one with the one through, it looks like six, and then a blank one. And I do like to um, laminate these blank ones because it works really well to use like an Expo marker or a wet dry erase marker. And you could use these over and over by either rolling a dice or picking a card or if you want to set a set amount or if maybe you just have leftovers at the end of your savings challenges and you don't know what to do with it you could um, put that amount in these blank ones um so yeah and this one was kind of um it wasn't kind of it was inspired by um lady die if you guys uh, don't follow your, her channel i would suggest going over she has some uh, great content uh, she'll always keep you on your toes. She's very entertaining. She's very sweet um, and you just you'll enjoy her her channel and her videos and it this challenge was actually inspired by her um, because she is saving for her little white dog which she refers to as marshmallow. Um, so this is how this challenge came came up as I was coming up with some challenges for her. So thank you, Lady Die, for um, inspiring me to make this savings challenge. The next one is just a uh, some zoo animal themed uh, challenges, and these are the A6 size, same denominations here. And then I have a, this looks like a cheetah print heart design. And then I know some of you guys don't have colored printers, so I did want to try to put some black and white challenges in my Etsy shop too. So this is a zebra print heart uh, A6 savings challenge set. And then the next ones I have are these A5 size. And these are um, like little board games. And I am going to laminate mine because I probably won't color any of these. I'll probably just roll and just whatever I land on, um, that's what I'll save. And maybe every month I'll kind of swap these out. Um, but if you want, you could color in the boxes or mark off the boxes and, because if you want to go through the board game and um, save all the spots, you could do that. And each box has an amount. If you land on that spot, that's the amount you save. If you land on a spot with an icon, I do have um, where it says you just roll a die and you save that amount. And then if you land on a larger icon, you roll a die and you save two times that amount. So I made like a little zoo themed one. And again, this one was actually inspired by uh, Lady Die too. And I did send her this challenge, which she did open in a Happy Mail video recently. And um, this one on the Etsy shop is just slightly different than the one um, she received. Since she's saving for her dog Mar Marshmallow, I did name her Marshmallow Land. And the one in my Etsy shop, shop is just gonna be called Furry Friend Land. So the same rules with this one. Um, where you roll the dice if you land on a marshmallow with a number that's the amount you save if you land on a small amount you roll a die and save that amount and if you land on a white dog um roll the dice and save two times the amount so those are my little board game challenges that i have another one that i came up with um this does come as a set so when you purchase it when you print it out, this is what it'll look like. And it is an A5 size, so this will fit in the A5 envelope. And I just wanted to concentrate a little bit more on being healthy. So the one I came up with, the two things that I really wanna concentrate on is my water intake and just being active. 
So I just kind of wanted to explain how this works. I did write on here numbers below the icons represent the day of the month. Um, so I kind of wanted to be able to set this up so I could track it by the days of the month. So the numbers underneath the icons represent um, the days of the month. And I just did 30, 31 days since some of the months have 31 days. Um, and then I did put a spot where your water goal is. So I'll probably put 64 ounces because that's what I want to try to get each day. And then I'm going to make each icon whatever I want. I might do like a dollar a day. Um, but if you wanted to save the amount that's underneath the icon, you sure can go ahead and do that. That you purchase these challenges, you can make them work however you want to make them work. But I just didn't want to confuse anybody and make them think that you had to save the amount underneath the icon. I just wanted to kind of set this up in calendar form um, so I can keep track of my progress of how I'm doing with my water each day. And then same with this one, with the staying active, um, I'm going to set like an activity goal each day. For me, when I'm first starting out, it just might be anything to get me moving, whether it's cleaning, um, you know, actually going for a walk, uh, lifting weights, whatever I, you know, stretching, whatever you want to make this, that's how you can set it up. And then each icon, you can put an amount. And then again, I put the one through 31 on here to represent the days of the month. So, I so this comes as a set um, on my Etsy shop. And then the last ones that I have here are an A6 size set. And this is more of a vertical layout. And I have the blank, a low denomination, just the $5. And this is just some animal print hearts. And then this one is kind of like the cheetah animal print heart um, savings challenge A6 set too. Next we can go over um, creating some savings challenges with things that you may already have around the house. And some of the things I found so far was I had a um, just a little plastic bag sitting in my closet with these um, sheets in them and I believe I just got them on a garage sale um but you could use these as savings challenge you could use Yahtzee and if you don't have these I actually found um where you can get free downloads of like Yahtzee sheets so I just typed in free Yahtzee scorch cards and I found this one and I just shrunk it down um to be more of like an A5 size so I think um I'll go ahead and put this one and show you how I would use it as a savings challenge. Um, I would just play it like I play Yahtzee. You roll five dice and you get three rolls. So let's say if you roll, you decide you want to keep your aces, you would add up, or not aces, your ones. You would add up your ones. So like let's say I rolled, ended up getting three ones out of my five rolls. Um, I would put a score of three there and I would save $3. And then so on with the twos, threes, fours, and fives. And then I think I am going to try to save like my bonus. So let's say my score ends up being uh, 63 or more when I fill this up. I am going to do my bonus of $35. And then below like three of a kind, they say to add all total of dice. So if I get three of a kind, I would add my total of dice, write it here. And that's the amount I would save. Um, so each of them have rules. Full house is a score of 25. So I would save 25. And if you're a lower budget, you could change this. You could say, um, you know, if you get a full house, instead of saving 25, you could either save the two or the five, or you could add the five and the two together and save seven. Um, let's see here. So yeah, so each game, um, and then you would always have a total and that's what you would save for that. When you completed this challenge, you should have that amount of your grand total. And then you could easily laminate these sheets and just use them over and over again. Um, so that's a, a simple idea where lots of people have a Yahtzee game laying around the house. And if not, you can get a free printable on um, by just Googling it online. Uh, the next one, um, I got this idea actually from Lisa Grateful Me because I did purchase uh, her Sudoku savings challenge. Uh, her Etsy shop is ha the Happy Mailbox Co. And I did purchase her challenge, but I just thought, you know, a lot of people have these little Sudoku um, challenge or 
puzzle games at home. So you could easily make this into a challenge. So anytime you fill in a box, uh, you could save that amount. And the most you would save if you just wanted to do one box would be nine and the least you would save is $1. So these, this would be a really low income savings challenge. Um, if you just wanted to do one or two boxes um, every time you do your savings challenges. So yeah, um, you could use that. Another one, it's not really an idea, but of things around the house, but I find free challenges all the time. This B1, uh, Lisa Grateful Me, just hit 5,000 subscribers and she's giving this one away free. Uh, so if you subscribe to her channel, she has the link in her description box um, of a recent video where she hit 5,000 subscribers. And then another one that I, I, I like to print two challenges on a page. I don't like to waste paper. So Michelle Free um, at Free to Fly, Free to Fly Life, I think is what her channel is called now. But she has a website with tons of free challenges. So I went ahead and just put one of her free challenges on here so I could print two, on, two at a time. But these are free too. You can always find tons of free free challenges on the internet. Another one, which I think is really, really cute, um, and I didn't come up with this idea on my own. I actually was watching um, one of Madeline's videos uh, from Madeline Budgets. She was going over some challenges and she had purchased a sticker book online and I just thought that it was genius. And um, I was in Walmart one day and I was in the kids activity book section and I came across this sticker book which is so cute i'll go ahead and do a flip through here it's a sticker book but they have blank canvases of a whole bunch of different um women on here so i will go ahead and flip through these pictures uh for you so you can see what's in the book and they're just so cute they have different outfits on they have different hairstyles i just absolutely love this and it kind of reminds me of when i was a kid when i was a kid um we played a lot with like paper dolls so this kind of reminds me of the little paper paper doll era when i was a kid i don't know if any of you any or anybody else played with paper dolls but i loved playing with paper dolls Um, so, you know, if you have kids around the house, this might be a book that you have laying around. Um, and I will go over how much this I paid for this book too. I know it was under $5 and I'll, I have it written on the back here. I'll let you know. And then to kind of go back at the beginning, so you have those blank canvases. And then I thought I would set a, set an amount for each sticker. So like maybe the mouth, I'll do $2. Maybe the necklaces, I'll do $5. The tiaras, you know, maybe I'll do $5. Each eye, maybe I'll do a dollar, two dollars. They have the eyebrows that you can set an amount for. Um, they have another page. They have like earrings, stickers that you can put on, some more tiaras and necklaces and the different shape and color eyes. Um, here's another page. Maybe I'll make these bigger icons, you know, worth $10. You can just set the amount, anything, you, anything that works with your budget. And then there's more stickers on the back too. And this might be fun if you have grandkids or if you have kids. Um, this would be a really fun challenge to do with them. And now to go over my giveaway um, details. Um, just to kind of for the rules of the gift giveaway, you have to be publicly subscribed to my channel and um, you have to live within the United States. Um, and to enter into my giveaway, all you have to do is put in the comments hashtag 250. And I will probably be announcing the winner of my giveaway in a video, which I'll post on May 12th. And then just to kind of let you guys know too, um, there are a lot of scammers out there and they will try to um, scam people with these. So I just wanted to kind of give you a heads up with that. They can be very convincing when they send you these messages. They can make it look like um, the YouTube channel that is doing the giveaway. And I just want to let you know, I'll never contact you and ask you to contact me by phone. I would never ask for money in order for you to claim your um, giveaway prize. And I just want to let you know that I'm going to be um, announcing it in a video. And then 
in that video on May 12, I'll give instructions of how to contact me to claim your prize. And I'll do a few things to confirm that it's you and, and all that good stuff. So I just want you to be aware that I, you know, I'm not going to change the rules up. I'm not going to do any surprise things. Um, the winner will be announced in a video on May 12th. So to get things started, um, I'll go over what I'm giving away. And if you guys know me, you know that I love uh, Cindy Cat Budget's Roll the Pig Challenge. Um, it is just so cute and it's so fun and um, it's just a fun way to be able to save money. So in this um, giveaway, this first one here, Cindy includes an envelope. So you will get an envelope. She includes some stickers. So you could decorate your envelope with the stickers if you'd like. Um, it comes with a little pa paper clip, a little heart paper, paper clip, and then it comes with the tracker. So how I do it, I roll the pigs, I write the number that, um, I'll be saving on the pig. This is the instructions, um, of what you save. So if they land on their side, they're a dollar on their back, it's three. If they land on all fours, it's $5. If they land on their snout, it is $10. So this is the instruction sheet. And then here is another tracker so you'll get this and then the game pieces they come in this little uh, cute bag here and you will get this keychain um, this little pig keychain and of course you will get the little game pieces of the three little pigs and they're kind of like a little rubber material um, so these are the little game pieces that you roll and you just go like this and you just roll them and you save what what how they land is how you play it so like they land it on their back or on their side however they land that's what you're gonna save and she did give me some freebies when I ordered this from her so I am gonna include some of her freebies in my giveaway and and this one I am gonna include her uh, it's like a little cat challenge so you would just color in the icons and it's a 5 through uh, 20 denomination saving and with this uh, roll the pigs I'm also going to include um, one of my scratch offs I have one scratch off that I'm selling in my Etsy shop and it's of the unicorn and it when you uh, scratch off all the things it'll total a hundred dollars so I so the lowest denomination on this one will be five dollars and the highest will be a twenty dollars so that is what comes with giveaway number one the next one in my giveaway is the Hide the Sausage and the Holy Crap by Liz and Les. So um, I think her challengers are super funny. She has a lot of sticker challenges. So basically you'll get this um, board and then these stickers and it looks like it's from $5 to 20. And every time you save, you take off the amount you wanna save and then you put it on the sausage to hide it. And then this one is the Holy Crap. So then you have um, this plain, uh, board here and then you can set the denomination that you want to make each sticker so every time you want to save you take off a sticker and you put it on the board and you save that amount so these two will be the second one and i'm also including in this one my scratch off my unicorn scratch off and then one of cindy cat budget's freebies that she included when i purchased her roll the pig so this is the second one that i'm giving away and then the third one the third one I'm going to give away is uh, my scratch off. And then since I got so many freebies from Cindy, uh, thank you, Cindy, for all the freebies that you gave me for my giveaway with my roll the pig. Um, I'm going to, it's mainly going to be kind of a scratch off. So you're going to get my unicorn scratch off, uh, Cindy cat budgets, cat scratch off. She made a cute birthday scratch off. And then she has a Christmas one too. So, and then also one of hers is another coloring one. So it's like the butterfly one. So yeah, so that is the third one. Um, so to go over it again, I have this, the scratch off here. I have the roll the pig um, with the scratch off and a coloring one by Cindy Cat Budgets and the um, challenges by Liz and Les. So if you have not checked out, um, yeah, so to enter, hashtag 250 and again I just want to thank you all uh, for supporting me because I wouldn't be have met this milestone without you and I hope you all like the challenges that I'm going to be giving away I think they're fun and 
I will talk to you on my next video. Bye. Thank you.